Hey everyone, I'm going to show you today how to get those important files off of your laptop once it no longer turns on or works. I want to let you guys know that you can always take it to a service shop and pay those fees, but why would you do that with such a simple fix? I personally wouldn't allow my personal information with those service shops just because of what I've seen in the news, especially with women, when they have those uh, racy pictures taken and shared and posted online. But regardless, it goes both ways as I've also seen illegal information being caught on these hard drives and reported to the police. So in, a, in either case, it's up to you and I'm just here to show you knowledge is power. Um, let's talk about uh, my laptop here. So I have a regular Sony laptop that has conked out on me. What's happened here is there's a loose screw in there, shorted out the motherboard and no longer works. Regardless, the ending result is power button doesn't work. Try taking out the battery, try opening up the motherboard, try um, disconnecting all connections in there, try also removing the battery for the BIOS, which is the battery that pretty much keeps your, your motherboard settings as such as the time on your laptop. Anyway, so I, my last resort now is going to be take the hard drive out and uh, so I'm able to access the information on it because I have some important school files. So first thing you want to do is go over to your nearby electronic shop, buy something like this. This is going to be your hard drive enclosure. This is worth about eight to twelve dollars, no more, no less. Don't pay any more of that. And you're looking for, if you have a typical laptop of these days, you're looking for a SATA to USB drive. And upon opening it up, it comes with several things here. Here's your leather case, manual, and here's the meat and potatoes of the product. So this is going to be where we're going to put our hard drive inside. Also, there's also some nice knickknacks, such as screwdriver and the assortments of screws you might need. This USB, there's what's funny about this is that there's uh, two ends here, two USB ports into one, and that's some hard drives require more power. Moving on. So first, we find access to our laptop here. Um, we know that this is where our hard drive is. If you guys don't know it, usually it's separated enclosure. They try to make it easy. If your laptop doesn't make it that easy, just go ahead and take out all these screws out here. And this panel will come off completely. So I've already removed these two screws. So I can come in, take this off. Then you'll have two more screws to take off in the top. And all you'll have to do here is you notice this connected right here. We just slide the hard drive off to the side this way, like so. And you have a plastic tab here. You can just pick it up like this. And this would be your hard drive. So this happens to be your standard 2.5 inch hard drive. That's 320 gigs. Not too shabby. So what we'll have to do here is we'll open this box. And this is our hard drive enclosure box. There we go. And this is going to be our adapter here. This is what we're going to connect to the hard drive. All right. So here we have our adapter. We're ready to put this together. There's only one way it can fit. So if you tried the other way, it just wouldn't look right, would it? But before we do so, we have this enclosure put in by my laptop that I need to take off. We just need to take off a couple screws here. So we grab our uh, Phillips head. Give it a couple turns. Save our screw. Very good. Then we can take off the enclosure. And you can kind of see now why they probably put the enclosure here. Just probably protect this area and also give it a mounting bracket. Well, regardless, what I'd like to do so I don't lose my screws is I'd like to put them back on where they came from in case I ever needed them in the future. Or I decided to take my laptop to get serviced or replaced. And regardless, I'd, I like to keep my screws. All right, moving on.
All right, so now we have our bare hard drive. Excellent. Let's connect our adapter. Fits nice and snug. We have our hard drive enclosure. Does not matter what way you put it in, this way or this way, as this hole is symmetrical with this one. We just pop it in, like so. Excellent. And we try to get in the bottom piece. Good. Now our last step, the box comes with these little screws. We're just going to put these in every hole to make this nice and sound. I feel like the easiest way is going to be put it on the screw like so. The head is magnetized so it will stick on there. And then just try to aim. And once you feel like you got in the threads, just finish screwing it in until it's pretty much flush. All right, good. So this should there should be no rattling inside. This should be a solid case now with your hard drive inside. And here we should have our mini port. This is where we're going to connect to our computer. Now for the moment of truth. See here. I already have my USB to mini USB hooked up here. And we're going to connect it. Like so. Power is blinking. Good. Let's check what the computer says. Automatically, computer has found this com the disk. So I just say open folders. If you guys want to find the files that you're looking for that were per se on your desktop, you should just organize with Windows XP under users. And when I would be, this is my profile, and here are all my folders. So here's the information I'm looking for. Now, specifically what's on my desktop, all these files here, and here are my all my school folders. Well, again, thank you very much for this. Uh, thank you for paying attention, and uh, hope to uh, have more videos out there for you.